office. That's what I do. My path to becoming a sculptor is an unusual one. Advertising creative director to homeless junkie to virtually unknown metal sculptor. And it's kind of crazy how it all came together in that I never planned any of this. I didn't go to art school. I intended to stay in the ad business for many years, but something happened that it, I just couldn't go back to it. I'm still writing, but I don't write with a with a IBM Selectric typewriter or a laptop anymore. Now I write with a plasma cutter and scrap steel found out in the desert. I don't work with an easy material. I'm not a painter. This is hard, this is metal. There's blood, there's noise, there's fire, there's angst, there's self-doubt. But at the end of the day, I know I'm doing the right thing. I was called to this thing. I never intended to become a sculptor, it just kind of took over. But I enjoy what I do and I love coming to work. And I love creating things. The voice inside is a constant presence that says, get up and go, get up and go, get it done, take care of it. You know, I go on with my cuts, my bruises, my filthy hands, my burned clothes, my burned out spirit. Before I lock the studio door, I look back and say, that is what I did today. That is, a, that, that is what made me brave today.